गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग ही गुनगुन अनु दीपा अद्विका ओ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दिस सेशन सो गुड टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू येस फाइनली मयंक यूर अटेंडिंग ग्रेड एट क्लास रुद्रानी हिमांशु थैंक यू गुनगुन Thank you Anu good evening yes i'm doing really well thank you hey har simran atif good evening all of you hey by the way if i say that i have a hobby and this is kind of a hint what will you guess make some random guess yes after a very long time we also missed who oh, you all missed great i missed you guys so much yes har simran jogging yes actually this is this is more of a stress buster for me running or jogging kind of makes me feel better but i want to ask you one thing which type of cloth material should i prefer if i have to go for a run what do you think what should i wear while jogging or walking or running is it going to be nylon or polyester or acrylic what do you think well by the end of the session you will be able to answer this question <coughs> yes i can see a lot of you making guesses <laughs> that sweet har simran a lot of you saying nylon nylon acrylic koi nahi bol raha nylon polyester mein competition chal raha hai Don't worry guys you will be able to answer all these questions and that's why we are starting with our one shots and today we have a one shot session on synthetic fibers and plastics now we are going to discuss every concept every important concept from the exam point of view that's there in this chapter in this single class so next 30 to 40 minutes you will be able to revise everything because i want all of you to have proper conceptual knowledge जब तक कॉन्सेप्चुअल नॉलेज नहीं होगी यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू अप्लाई यू वोट बी एबल टू सॉल्व एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन राइट हे विदिशा वेरी वॉम वेलकम बच्चा येस सी द न्यू एग्जाम पैटर्न इज वेरी डिफरेंट नाउ अर्लियर यू नो ड्यूरिंग आर टाइम्स यूज टू आस्क वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन बट नाउ दे वॉन्ट यू टू थिंक एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आर देर नो मोर स्पून फीडिंग नो मोर रोड लर्निंग इज देअ Yes, Ishika, I was not well, but I'm doing well. I'm doing really well now. Thank you. Yes, this chapter is super easy. So, today, all important concepts discuss. Coming in, guys, make sure that you know you do not miss any of the concepts that we will be discussing today because they are very important from the exam point of view. All the questions would be based on the topics that we will be discussing today. If you think you know the topics, well and good, guys. it will be a quick revision for all of you and if you think that you've not understood it earlier this is the right time to get in the exam mode full on okay so we'll no no rashmi we've just started hey pragati a very warm welcome bachcha yes vidisha you're right actually vidisha is new she's just joined and she's saying that you know what they do is they just convert normal questions to twisted questions and we all agree with her isn't it Even Pragati is joining us for the first time. Oh, you from Andaman? Hey, Pallavi. Pallavi is also joining for the first time. Yes, Anubhi. Are just about to start. So, fata fat se guys, give me a green signal that everything is working fine. You know the drill. Hey, Atif. Quick thumbs up in the comment section to know to let me know that you know the setup is working fine. Audio, video, PPT. सब बढ़िया चल रहा है एंड देन वी कैन स्टार्ट यस गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू यशिका hey by the way towards the end of the class i'll tell you who are my rock stars so the people who are going to be there participate answer all the questions and you know post all positive comments i would say so let's see who have like who are the kids who are the students who have revised this chapter really well who are my rock stars so towards the end i'll tell you 
I keep looking at the chat box. I'll keep seeing who are the ones who are constantly posting something good, something positive, all the correct answers. Yes. So if you're super excited for the session, quickly hit the like button and then we'll get started. <laughs> okay, Pragati. All right, Kushi. Thank you for giving me a good to go, but I hope you guys have already registered for Anthe. That's the Akash National Talent Hunt exam. Because time is running out, clock is ticking. I don't want you to miss this great opportunity for which the registration is absolutely free. And see what all you can get at the end of it. You can actually get up to 100% scholarship, all India rank, cash rewards. And for the preparation part, we would be providing you with mock tests. Because we understand. कि पैटर्न कैसे पता चलेगा पैटर्न हम बताएंगे वी विल गिव यू मॉक टेस्ट बट यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू रजिस्टर फर्स्ट सो वी आर हियर टू प्रोवाइड यू विद एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू नर्चर योर टैलेंट बट यू हैव टू टेक दैट यू हैव टू ग्रैब दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी गाइस इट्स फॉर ग्रेट 7 टू 12 यू कैन टेल योर फ्रेंड्स कजिन्स एवरीवन अबाउट दिस बिकॉज यू नो व्हाट द कैच इज यू कैन एक्चुअली विन एंड ऑल एक्सपेंसेस पेड ट्रिप टू Actually, you can go to NASA, and you can see the dates. Offline, online dates are there. Link is there in the description box. Yes, yes, absolutely correct. So quickly go, guys, register for this. A lot of learning is something that you will, you know, gain out of it. If you wish to be a doctor, engineer, definitely this is like. this goes without saying that you need to register for the exam even if you're aiming for some other exam eventually still when you appear for such exams when you appear for such entrances you will learn a lot of new things correct yes absolutely all right so we all know that we are in a race to ace the exam we want to get full marks we want to get 100% marks so you'll ask ma'am 100% possible hai bilkul possible hai all these kinds of sessions that we have for you you come watch these such these sessions learn with us and then definitely possible hai you will definitely get really good marks we have a plan but you know making an effective plan that's very easy what's difficult is to follow it to maintain that to keep putting ticks and not you know just tear the paper where we've written a plan and then throw it away so for that we are here and we will be coming up with all kinds of sessions but we want a lot of attentiveness from your side we will be coming up with chapter revision and you will get the pdfs on telegram i hope you all are there on telegram by the way you'll get the mock test quiz so see just learning concepts is not enough we need to apply that for that we have quiz sessions for you we've got one shots exam focused important questions very very important which are the questions which are teachers favorite you will get to know here you will get to know how to appear for the exam here you will get your doubts clarified here and for that what do you have to do you have to quickly hit the like share and subscribe button you need to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of these important sessions yes hey anushka oh we've got two anushka Yes I know that guys a lot of exams are coming up and you might be feeling a bit you know uh, jittery about it you might be feeling a little scared but don't worry subscribe to our channel we are here to provide you quality education and you can see you can definitely see in all the videos that we are coming up that this if you cover this much whatever we are teaching you here you will be able to ace the race Yes that's great and by the way on popular demand we've come back with this mini learning program as well and it's now absolutely free for the first 1000 users every week all you have to do is use this code yt first use this code and it's going to be free for all of you the first 1000 users only so what are you waiting for quickly go grab this opportunity because you want us to come up with this mini learning program again because you've enjoyed being taught by india's top teachers you've enjoyed actually having those advantages two teacher model superior learning and that's why we are back for 
with this mini learning program again and this time you can probably choose some other topic of your choice yes yeah absolutely great yes i can see that has the class ended a lot of you are saying class has ended is there some confusion bachcha you can let me know can you hear me can you see me quick thumbs up in the comment section let me know guys perfectly audible visible हाँ अप्रैल फूल बना रहे हो क्लास खत्म नहीं क्लास इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड बट नाउ ओके नाउ इट्स विजिबल गाइस यस ऑल राइट ऑल राइट quickly let your friends know that the class is very much there it's going on there might be some technical glitch due to which i think the stream was not there for some time but i hope it's working fine now don't feel bad anushka because the class has just started all right ha huh, august full <laughs> that's nice gungun all right so You see plastics, you see clothes, you see them everywhere, right? In fact, clothes they could be made from natural or synthetic fibers. But what are all of these essentially made up of? When we talk about clothes, when we talk about plastics, what are they essentially made up of? Hey, Ryan, you need to tell me first. <laughs> It's okay. Quickly, let your friends know, guys. there might be some network error that's why there might be a little glitch but it's all sorted koi baat nahi yes correct all of you so they are essentially made up of polymers so natural fibers synthetic fibers plastics are made of large units of polymers now poly means many and mer means units so you've got many units combining together right correct prasad yes ishika correct absolutely and what are these polymers made up of well they are made up of monomers now mono means one so in a way you can say that the individual units are known as monomers so all individual units are known as monomers now we repeat these monomers these are the repeating units and they further make up polymers so you know what monomers are you know what polymers are and then a chain of multiple polymers would make up the fiber now what i want you to understand over here is that it's not necessary that polymers when we talk about polymers they are for, they are made up of monomers but it's not necessary that monomers would always be atoms a lot of you get confused that monomers would be atoms polymers would be molecules so keep this in mind that it's not necessary that monomers would always be atoms they might be molecules hey amrita very warm welcome hey harsimran remembers the class with the necklace good yes it's a single unit pallavi but it might not be an atom always monomers Yes, mono means one. A single unit is there. So polymers are made up of small chemical units which are called monomers. Absolutely right. All right. Now, cotton, which is by the way known as the king of natural fibers, is actually made of the polymer called cellulose. Very important one marker for all of you. pay attention here they can ask you about the polymer when we talk about cotton you need to know that it's cellulose and what's the monomer the monomer is going to be glucose now we all know glucose is not an atom that's why i was telling you monomers are not always atoms yes so in case of cotton you know the polymer you know the monomer 
moving on now this is again something that we've done in grade 6 as well fibers we all know can be natural that means we can obtain it from plants and animals for plants quickly give me two examples you've done in grade 6 you've done in grade 7 for animals chalo fatafat se any one example for plant any one example for animal cotton okay cotton we get from plant okay jute from plant wool for animal silk for animal badhiya correct now we have synthetic fibers as well now they are man made so they are made by us so in a way synthetic fibers are nothing but man made fibers so they are synthesized they are being produced in laboratories using various chemicals yes artificial good mayank absolutely right so in case they ask you about natural fibers you know in case they ask you about synthetic fibers you know a lot of them now how are we getting these synthetic fibers what's the chemistry behind them well all synthetic fibers are prepared using raw materials of petroleum origin which are known as petrochemicals so petrochemicals they are basically the chemicals that we obtain from petroleum and natural gas so again this is a very important one marker that could be our so i'll keep telling you you keep noting this down yes the chemicals which are obtained from petroleum and natural gas they are petrochemicals and synthetic fibers are basically prepared using the raw materials that we get from that yes very easy chapter i agree with you now i want to ask you one thing till grade 6 and 7 you've studied about natural fibers you know natural fibers are being used and initially we were using natural fibers only why did we come to this concept of producing something why did we come to this concept of having man made synthetic fibers why do you think this happened kya problem thi masti mein use kar rahe the natural fibers yes ryan Yes, Rudan, you're right. But let's answer the question first. Yes, Ryan, correct. Ryan is posting all correct answers today. Ryan is definitely one of my rock stars. Yes, Rashmi, you're right. Yes, Aditya, correct. Yes, you people are right. See, when we talk about natural fibers, they are expensive, right? And animal lovers would not like this, but of course, leads to animal cruelty as well. plus of course they are not wrinkle free a lot of maintenance is required when talk about natural fibers they are not that long lasting also they can be damaged by insects a lot of drawbacks are there <coughs> yes but when we talk about synthetic fibers the first very important point that most of you have mentioned e bopra is that it is cost effective so synthetic fibers are cheap obviously if you have two substances two items in front of you one is more expensive one is cheap you would definitely go for the cheaper one right it has high durability so it lasts longer right and hence it's durable next important point it absorbs less water less drying time is there so it dries up really quick so you'll actually notice a lo lot of outdoor purposes of this particular point you know rain gears and all they're made up of synthetic fibers and then of course they are wrinkle free so they are easy to maintain and anything that's easy to maintain we kind of like it right you must have observed this you keep a cotton shirt you keep a you, you take a polyester shirt and then you see which one is easy to maintain which one do you think will be easy to maintain cotton or polyester Yes, Radhika. Polyester is easy to maintain. Ha, yar. Cotton will have a lot of wrinkles. Now we have various types as well. We've got rayon, we've got nylon, we've got polyester, we've got acrylic. Four very important. sub topics of this chapter and now topic wise i'll tell you what kind of questions would be asked based on these four topics when we look at these four topics we feel our chapter bahut easy aata hai 
I'll discuss the questions that could be asked. So pay a lot of attention. Yes, Nagendra. <laughs> Correct. Yes, you people are right. So we'll start with rayon. Now, when we talk about rayon, of course, the natural source is involved here. That is wood pulp. Rayon, actually, it's also known as regenerated cellulose. So it's also known as regenerated cellulose. Now, rayon that is in a way involving wood pulp further this fiber can be obtained by the chemical treatment of wood pulp. So we are seeing two things over here. Wood pulp is the natural source but chemically it's being treated and that's why we call it semi-synthetic. Very important one marker out there. Why is rayon known as semi-synthetic? Semi-synthetic. Why not fully synthetic? Why not fully natural? See, the source that we have wood pulp, that's natural. Right? But then it's chemically treated. A lot of you were asking, Isko hum semi natural kyun nahi rahe? Because major processing is chemical treatment, right? Yes, so remember guys, rayon is semi synthetic. Now, have you heard about silk? Can you recall about silk? Kaha se milta hai silk? From where do we get silk? Silkworm, yes, it's a natural fiber, right? We really like the texture, the feel of silk. So a lot of attempts were being made to make something similar to silk. Because of course silk leads to animal cruelty. We don't want that. So we were thinking of alternatives. And after a lot of hard work, we came up with rayon that is also known as artificial silk. Another very important one marker that could be asked. Rayon ko hum artificial silk Q kehte hain. Why do we call rayon as artificial silk? That's very important one marker that could be asked. It resembles silk in appearance, texture and shine. Plus it's cheaper and wrinkle free. So if they ask you why did we in a way discover rayon? You know it's going to be cheaper. You know it's going to be wrinkle free. And why is it known as artificial silk? Because it resembles silk in appearance and texture. So it's very similar to silk. Plus, we can dye it in a variety of colors. <laughs> yes. Absolutely right. Now, coming to uses of rayon. Now, rayon, let's see what are the uses. First of all, it can be mixed with cotton. So, rayon plus cotton, you can have a lot of bed sheets made of that. Right? Then, of course, carpets, textile and tire cords. So, remember the easy uses of rayon because this can come as a one marker wherein you are being asked to, to state two uses of rayon. <laughs> Correct. Yes, it can be mixed with cotton. Alright, so we know about rayon. Why is it semi-synthetic? Why is it called artificial silk? And the uses. Right, next we have nylon so let's see let's talk about nylon now first of all it's completely man-made very very important guys so in 1931 it was synthesized without using any natural raw material so not from plants not from animals actually it was being prepared from cold water and air so the first fully synthetic fiber is going to be nylon Yes. Absolutely. So if they ask you the first fully synthetic fiber, you know it's going to be nylon. And it's, by the way, really strong. It's stronger than a steel wire also. Yes, Amrita. Amrita has already mentioned about this. Yes. Now coming to the properties of nylon. Now, first of all, it's very strong and goes without saying that, you know, the ropes that we see, they are made up of nylon because they're very, very strong. We don't really want the rope to break in between, right? Yeah, rock climbing and for many other things as well. Second, it's elastic. So, definitely it could be used to make socks. Then, of course, it's lustrous. A lot of, you know, fabrics are made out of it. 
लाइट वेट यू कैन सी सीट बेल्ट वेरी लाइट वेट राइट देन ईजी टू वॉश एंड बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दीज प्रॉपर्टीज बिकेम वेरी पॉपुलर फॉर यू नो मेकिंग clothes and other substances other articles now i want you to remember these properties these properties are super important guys and you can actually remember the uses based on the property or vice versa if you know the uses you can remember the properties everything is interconnected yes <laughs> gungun is saying nylon is an international strength topper easy peasy na gendra says all right so yes i'm sure you can figure out the uses very easily so ropes tents parachutes toothbrush sleeping bags curtains and socks we've discussed about socks as well right so these are the important uses so nylon it's the first fully synthetic fiber right we know about this we know about the uses we know about the properties these are the things that you really need to cover about nylon and a parachute of course we want it to be light we want it to be strong right hmm correct yes socks it's okay priya all right next we have is polyester again something really simple and important let's break polyester so it's poly plus ester that means we have the repeating unit of esters in this so esters to keep repeating and then we get polyester so the monomer in polyester is going to be ester and what are esters they are actually the chemicals that give you a fruity smell you will study about esters don't worry about that but in case in polyester they ask you for a one marker question that what is the monomer well it's going to be ester राधिका इज सेइंग मेरी तो सॉक्स नाइलॉन की है बट वो फट जाती है सी ऑफ कोर्स आफ्टर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू सेज दिस इज बाउंड टू हैपन यस एस्टर इज द मोनोमर इन दिस यस ना गेंदू वी आर कमिंग टू दैट नाउ कमिंग टू द प्रॉपर्टीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स इजी टू वॉश दैट मींस इट रिमेंस क्रिस्प एंड इट्स वेरी इजी टू वॉश इट्स रिंकल फ्री सो इट डजंट गेट रिंकल्ड इजीली इट्स ड्यूरेबल एंड एक्चुअली it's soft also so these are the important properties so for polyester you should know what the monomer unit is you should know the properties of polyester and very important topic is the type so we will be covering two types who is going to tell me the full form of pet let's see quickly in the comment section let's see who is going to tell me the full form of pet Yes, let's see who's my fastest rock star out there. Gungun ne likh diya, but with a spelling mistake. Har Simran ne also mentioned Nagendra Ishika. No, it's a very common one marker. They might ask you the full form of PET, and in that case, if there is a spelling mistake, you might lose marks, which we really don't want, right? So be very careful. Yes, so it is polyethylene terephthalate. Good, Aditya, Gun Gun, Arnavi, Amrita, Pavni, Ryan, Vidisha, Nagendra. But please note the spelling out there. Now, PET is a very popular polyester, right? It's used to make bottles, utensils, wires, films, and many more useful products. Another important polyester is terylene, and some of the uses of terylene. You can actually have garments made of terylene. You can have sheets made of terylene, and in fact, even raincoats. Some of the raincoats are also made up of terylene. So it's a very popular polyester that can actually, you know, you can draw them into fine fibers. You can wo, you know, it can be, you know, woven like a normal yarn. That's okay. See, if there's a spelling mistake happening that's not a problem bachcha we can always learn right that's how we learn yes you heard about this bottles correct all right now types of polyester so we have polyester fabrics which are being sold by the names like polycot which means polyester plus cotton or poly wool which means polyester plus wool please remember guys that we are mixing two types of 
fibers here. Polyester is one type, cotton is another. So in a way, we are mixing with natural fiber. Polyester plus wool. So cotton and wool, they are natural, right? So polyester, they are getting mixed with natural fibers. So in case they ask you polycot. So please don't start thinking that cot is like the monomer. Aisa har baar nahi hota. Okay? Polycot actually contains polyester plus cotton. Now uses, see, if you know the uses of PET, if you know the uses of terylene, you can definitely know the uses of polyester. So sportswear is there, casual wear, bottles, utensils and much more. So for polyester, it's very important that you need to know all these things. Know about the monomer, know about the properties, know about the uses and the types. So for every topic, we are telling you what exactly needs to be covered. Now coming to acrylic. This is again very important. Now this is one synthetic fiber that has similar texture and feel to wool. You know we use sweaters, blankets, we use so much wintry material in winters, right? But not everything is made of wool. A lot of them are actually made up of acrylic. The reason is that it's kind of cheaper as compared to wool. Right? So this is like the first very important property that it's inexpensive. What else? Good, it's known as artificial wool, yes, correct. It's actually lightweight also. It's sunlight resistant and yes, it could be in a way be available in variety of colors. Yes, it resembles wool. Yes, Aditya. Alright, so quickly tell me some uses. You know that it's artificial wool, so I'm sure you can figure out what the uses of acrylic are. Some users quickly in the comment section, let me see who all are going to be responding to this question really quick. Are you wearing it now? Menacing. Hi Simran, first one to these sweaters. Information convert into knowledge is the second one. Gungun, Arnavi, Bolu, Ishika, Amrita, Nagendra, Vidisha, good. Koi baat nahi, Mayank. Yes, Neha. Yes, you people are right. It's in a way resembling wool. It's artificial wool. So obviously everything to do with winters, right? So sweaters are there, shawls, carpets, sportswear. So all these are uses of acrylic. Acrylic, I think, is the simplest of all the synthetic fibers that you will be studying. Know about the properties, know about the uses, know that it's in a way resembling wool and you're done with this topic. <laughs> Such a cute topic, right? Hey, by the way, we've been praising synthetic fibers ever since. But there is something that we need to be careful about. We really need to be careful and we need to remember not to wear synthetic fibers while working in the kitchen or even in the laboratory. Wherever there is a scope of fire, right? Because they catch fire very easily. They are artificial polymer fibers. So, very quickly they catch fire. They can melt and stick to the body. So you need to be very, very careful. So have this knowledge, understand this and apply it in real life. Guys, you need to be very, very careful with this. Yes, Prasad. Yes, Nagendra. <coughs> Absolutely right. Good, all of you. Now moving on to plastics. Quickly, fatafat say, post your favorite use of plastic in the comment section. Chalo, let me know really quick, which is your favorite use of plastic? Like which article is your favorite plastic article? Okay, Kushi. Yes, it sticks to the skin. Deepa says bottle. Rambicha says toys. Gungun says pen. Vidisha says bottles, mobiles, Ryan says. Oh, Ramichar has given phone also. Toys, bottle. Nagendra says PVC. Arnabi says pen. Yes, bottles, cups, straws, bags. The list is endless, right? Pen, chair, bucket. I know you can go on and on. Now, you'll notice that they're available in different shapes and sizes. Like a bottle is very different from a pen. And all other articles that you've said. Why is this? Because they are easily moldable. Understand this point because a one marker is right there. 
so they can be melted recycled reused colored rolled into wires and sheets so basically they can be transformed into large or small objects of different sizes <laughs> yes Your name is one. Okay. All right. Now we have different arrangements that are possible. Two types of arrangements. One is linear and one is cross-linked. So when we talk about linear, it's like straight line. Linear. We all know straight line. Simple. So linear arrangement of monomers could be there, but there could also be a network that is being formed. That would be a cross-linked arrangement of monomers. So we've got a linear one, we've got a cross-linked one. Based on this, we have different types of plastics and they are thermoplastics and thermosetting plastic. This is a very important two marker question or a three marker question. So sometimes they would ask you to differentiate between thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics and sometimes they might ask you for examples also. So based on that, it can be a two marker or a three marker. I'll tell you a way to remember this guys. Thermoplastic, they get deformed easily on heating. They can be bent easily. But thermosetting plastics, once molded, they cannot be softened. Now how to remember? Sometimes what you people do is, you know what thermoplastics are, you know what thermosetting plastics are, but you kind of swap their definitions. You swap their meanings and you get a zero, even though it's a two marker or a three marker. Easy way to remember. Thermo setting. That means ek bar isko set kar diya, isko hum change nahi kar sakte. It becomes rigid in irreversible manner on heating. Thermoplastics ko kar sakte hain. Yes. Absolutely. It's the melting point. Okay, tell me. Out of these two, which is going to have, generally, which is going to have lower melting point? Thermoplastics or thermosetting plastic? Quickly in the comment section. Yes, this has the word set in this. So once it's set, you cannot change it. That's how you can easily remember. Thermoplastic. Hey, Shika. Thank you. Yes, correct, all of you. All right. So, let's talk about thermoplastics. Now, polythene, we all know, it's the most commonly used plastic in the world, right? Polythene actually is being produced using the polymerization of ethene monomer. So, important question. In polythene, you know what the monomer is? It is ethene. And of course, it's used to make polythene bags. Another important example of a thermoplastic is PVC, that's polyvinyl chloride. Now, vinyl chloride units are being used to make polyvinyl chloride. It's hard, it's strong, used to make containers, pipes, packaging materials. A lot of substances can be made using PVC, that's polyvinyl chloride as well. So, Nishant, in cross link, they are going to be network arrangement. Yes, Amrita has given example bhi de diya. Good. <coughs> so, yes. For thermosetting, Amrita is right. We've got Bakelite. That's a poor conductor of heat and electricity also. You can mention electricity also here. So heat and electricity. And that's why you'll notice, since it's a bad conductor of heat, it's used to make utensil handles. Since it's a bad conductor of electricity, it's used to make switches. And the next example is melamine. Now melamine actually it resists fire and it tolerates heat better. Very important because this property in a way tells us where it's going to be used. This is another thermosetting plastic which is hard and it does not melt on heating. So, it's used in making kitchenware, floor tiles, heat resistant fabrics. Yes, PVC is thermoplastic. Yes, Ishika, we'll come to Teflon. Talking about special use of plastics in hospitals, you'll see a lot of gloves, you know, stitching thread, syringe, packaging that's being used. But I want you to identify which material is being used to make uniform of firemen. Chalo. Which plastic is being used? Quickly in the comment section. Hey Nishant, you're a true rock star. 
Yes, Tangendra. Yes, Gungun. Ishikaru. Drani. Deepa. Correct, all of you. It's Melamine. Yes, we people remember. Good. Somebody was talking about Teflon. So, yes, this is another very important one marker. They might ask you to identify the material that we are using for cookware. So, it's a special plastic on which oil and water do not stick. So, oil and water do not stick on this and that's why it's been used to make cookware. <laughs> yes, Aunt Simran. Alright, let's move on to the properties of plastics. So, first of all, it's not reactive. It's not reactive. See, when we talk about metals, we know they are going to, you know, corrode with time. But when we talk about plastics, they are not corroded easily. Second, it's very lightweight, it's strong, it's durable. Then they are poor conductors of heat and electricity. And that's why you will notice a lot of wires being covered using plastic. Or maybe the handles of utensils, they are made up of plastic. I'm telling you the give reason kind of, kind of uh, questions that can be asked. You know, why handles are made of plastic? You know, they're poor conductor of heat. Why, you know, electric wires have plastic covering? Because they are poor conductors of electricity. Then, of course, they are easy to handle and they're economical. But there is a big, big but. See, a lot of properties we've discussed. But I'm saying over here that should we still be using plastics? What do you think? Should we still be using plastics? Like too much of plastics. Hey Mamta. No. A lot of you are saying. You people are saying a big no out there. Because they are non-biodegradable. See till now we have discussed the endless list. Where plastics are very very useful. Endless list of articles made of plastics. But the more we use. The more waste we'll produce, the more we'll keep getting accumulated. And then disposal of plastic will be a very serious concern. The reason being that they are non-biodegradable, which means they are not easily decomposed through natural processes. You really cannot decompose them. That means we have to be very careful while we make use of plastics. Other things are biodegradable, like most of them. Paper, vegetable and fruit pea, leather... Cotton, wool, wood, these are biodegradable waste. That means they get decomposed. Decomposed basically means that they can be broken down or they can degrade, right? They can be broken down, they can degrade using, you know, water, oxygen, sun's rays. So basically, any natural processes, say for example, bacteria as well. Hey, five hour ki baate ho in chat mein. You know where. We are about to come. Okay. Now, since they are not biodegradable, they are definitely not environment friendly for sure. And they cause a lot of different types of pollution. So, if thrown in water, they can cause water pollution and affect the aquatic life. What else? Water pollution is something that can be caused because of plastics. What else? Information convert into knowledge says soil pollution. Bilkul sahi baat hai. If they are dumped in soil, they can cause soil pollution. What else? Air pollution again says, yes, if you burn them, poisonous gases are being produced. So, they can cause air pollution as well. So, yes, soil and air pollution. Correct. And if you know, you throw them here and there, they, they can definitely clog the drains as well. And if they are actually eaten by animals, you know, that's not really good. They can choke. Moreover, they can caught, They can get caught in plastic as well. They can get sick of it for sure. So definitely, these are some harmful impacts of plastics. Yes. So yes, plastics are very useful for us, but at the same time they cause water pollution, they cause air pollution, they cause soil pollution, they're impacting animals and this is not something that we want. So what we need to do is, we need to think of ways to, you know, dispose plastics and to begin with, plastics should be disposed separately from biodegradable waste. And this, this is something that we can do at our level, right? This is something that we can begin and help in doing so i am sure you all know what a green dustbin what a blue dustbin means you can see 
non biodegradable waste biodegradable waste you know what biodegradable waste are right so next time when you go to the market you want to you know throw some wrapper you want to throw some anything that you want to throw please make sure that biodegradables are in the green one how many of you have seen like even in parks you see two types of dustbins now park mall everywhere yes you've seen right now you know why as well all right so this brings us to the five r's that we need to do that nagendra is talking about to begin with when you lessen the usage of non biodegradable less of it will go in garbage so in a way you can reduce that's the first thing so reduce buying objects in bulk because it might lead to increased wastage we won't we don't want that right then limit the use of plastic bags instead you can use paper bags so you can actually reduce the use of plastics by choosing products with minimum packaging or you know having alternatives you can use steel lunch box instead of plastic lunch box yes yeah. so i hope you all will make conscious effort about reducing the usage of plastics next see the rate at which it's increasing that's unimaginable we need to figure out ways so the next important way is reuse how can we reuse it well it can definitely modify it to form storage items or maybe substitute for pods or any creative thing that you can come up with basic thing is that we don't want plastic crisis to be you know a problem for us because it's going to be one big problem for the environment it's a it's a very big challenge for us so in some way we have to reuse the already made plastic so i'm sure you all are also finding ways for that is it yes i can see next important is recycle so you can change the form and use it right some plastics can be recycled and then you can turn it into you know different types of products like toys pens containers this can be done and you can actually use all these recycled plastic bottles that we also have you can recycle them and use it in really creative funky ways <laughs> yes correct again you can actually write an essay on that you can debate also all right what else we've covered three hours which two hours am i leaving chalo fatafat se tell me reduce reuse recycle we are left with two hours refuse all right repurpose recover correct so yes the next one biggest plastic handling is a very serious problem the next one is to recover or repurpose now what this means is first of all this happens after reduce reuse and recycle have been attempted only after that this can take place conversion of waste into resources such as electricity heat compost and fuel so in a way we are turning into something useful we are attaching another purpose to it we are having it repurposed right then it can serve as a substitute for coal or substitute for natural gas so there you go this is how we can actually recover or repurpose and i see a lot of you writing about refuse yeah so i'll come to that now so refuse basically means to say no right so we need to stop using products that can harm us our family or the environment right for example phthalates that are being used in pvc they can actually cause a lot of allergies they can actually cause a lot of respiratory problems we don't want that for us we don't want that for our family so yes we need to refuse items which are very very harmful now quickly let me know which are the five words let's see good yes i can see reduce was the first one reduce reuse recycle recover refuse sab likh diya nishant ne well done guys so if you remember all the five words and you remember this chapter really really well quickly hit the like button i can see it from here who are actually liking this video and post a thumbs up over there as well chalo fatafat se like the video and post a thumbs up to tell me that yes ma'am we've mastered this chapter good all of you yes i was saying i'll tell you who the rock stars are for today 
Yes, I can see that. Yes, so it's Nagendra, it's Harsimran and one more. Can you make a guess? Yes, it's Rudrani. So you three are the rock stars for today. Ah, Mayanka is going to go bar bar. It's okay, it happens. Alright, now yes, you people have shown so much of trust. You people have in a way, you know, trusted us and we value that trust. So we would be coming up with amazing sessions for all of you and to strengthen this bond that we have in this small family of ours, we have our Telegram channel. So we want all of you to join the Telegram channel so that we can connect more over there. In fact, you know, your, your teachers, like all of us are coming live every Friday at 3 p.m. So you'll get to know your teacher outside the class as well and we'll get to know you a bit better. So quickly go join Telegram. The link is there in the description box. Plus, if you solve the homework poll question, something good is your way for sure. You can participate and win special mentions and goodies from Baiju's. So yes, let's strengthen our bond, you know, to greater extent. And of course, homework question is a plus. It's a bonus, right? Absolutely right. So yes, guys, we've got you covered and we'll keep coming back with amazing sessions for all of you. And I hope you all have registered for Hande. If not, do it right after this session. Yes. All right, now the race to 100% in midterms in 45 days. You know the race is to ace the exam. We are in this together. Don't worry, we will be back with all these category of sessions that you see. All these are the important features. We would be covering that, but for that you really need to subscribe quickly, right? Yes. Don't say that. All right, don't worry about that. No sad life. Wi-Fi chale gaya ya, koi baat nahi. Dubara dekh lena session. And don't forget guys, the mini learning program is now for free. But it's just for the first thousand users. But eventually, you might miss this chance. So go quickly, be amongst the first thousand users. Because you know, on popular demand, we've come back with this for your superior learning. Yes, I can definitely know that. So now you know what to focus on, right? You know which are the important topics. So go ahead, revise the chapter. Don't, don't take exams to be like a problem, right? Absolutely right. Great. I can see that. All right, guys, I can see a lot of you are posting happy emojis out there which is really good so don't worry we will we'll change all your problems to your advantage we are here you quickly hit the like share and subscribe button keep learning and let me know in the comment section what kind of sessions you want us to come up with we'll definitely act on that because we definitely read all your comments and they are very important to us so yes quickly hit the like share and subscribe button and in the comment section i want you to let me know what kind of session you want us to come up next with. Okay? Alright. So keep working hard guys. Keep smiling and I'll see you super soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.